Ladies and gentlemen, why should you buy a home this year? Let me just tell you, there are five reasons why. Number one, home prices are very low right now. With all the foreclosures, uh, people have to get out from under their homes, you're going for dirt cheap. Number two, low interest rates. Rates are at historic lows right now. Number three, government incentives and tax deductions. Anytime Uncle Sam can take less out of my paycheck and give more money back, I'm all for it. Number four, investment purposes. Your house is your own personal bank. Number five, pride of ownership, the American dream. Now, low home prices. Prices are at 30% lower than they were two to three years ago at their peak. Now, like I said, there's so many foreclosures out there, people losing their job, people are selling their homes for dirt cheap, now's a good time to take advantage of the low prices. Now, they're also throwing thing in, things in like free appliances, they're even paying for your closing costs. Now, I'm all for it. Take advantage of that. Now, a few questions you might want to ask yourself before purchasing a home. Number one, is your income good enough? Two, do you have the job security? Three, is your credit good enough? And finally, do you have about four to six months worth of mortgage payments saved away in an emergency fund? Now, you always want to buy low and sell high. Your home is your uh, most important asset you'll probably ever own, and it's your primary means of accumulating wealth. Now, low rates. Let me just talk about low interest rates. They're at historic lows right now, 4%, 5%. Rates are never going to be lower than they are right now. They're only going to go up. Inflation's about to hit. The Fed's unwinding their stimulus measures. Now, you're going to save between $100, $200 a month just in interest expenses alone. That's going to allow you to pay down the principal balance on your mortgage while your home value goes up, accumulating that equity. Now, accumulating equity leads to investment purposes. Like I said, it's your primary means of accumulating wealth. You have to think of your home as your own personal bank, your own piggy bank, if you will. Every time you make a mortgage payment, it's like making a deposit into your account. Now, anytime you need money out, you just tap into the equity for home improvements, any kind of college tuition funds, um, vacations, so forth and so on. It's a very important asset. Now, government incentives and tax deductions. Your 100% of your mortgage interest expenses are tax deductible and oftentimes your property taxes are as well. Government incentives are given up to $8,000 tax credit for purchasing a home before April 30th of this year. You need to take advantage of it. Anytime Uncle Sam can give you money, we need to take advantage of that. Now, that leads to our final thing, proud of ownership. It's the American dream, the whole white picket fence, um, raising the kids, you know, all the memories. You can customize your home any way you want, paint the walls any colors, add fixtures, do the landscaping up. It's totally up to you. It's your house. You worked hard for it. Now go in and make that investment and buy a home this year.